check the time? Salutations. What time is it? Let me just check my T74 calculator. Oh yeah, it's Chad o'clock. It's on ice time, baby. Who's ready for the on ice deck profile? If you're ready for the video, smash the thumbs up button. Let's get 1,000 likes. Let's get straight into the deck profile, baby. Let's go. I'm gonna be honest with you. Odd Eyes is just the most Chad deck in history. It's just plain simple fact. You can't beat around that bush. It is just the best deck in history. Like all of us fellow Pendulum Chads, we know this. We understand this. But whereas, what's the opposite of a Chad? Ah, uh, Trickstar players. Like them, they don't understand the power of Odd Eyes because they can't even clear an Odd Eyes dragon without anything else so with that being said let's go baby so we got three arc pendulum dragon two persona dragon and a Maraz dragon you do not want to play 10,000 odd eyes monsters why because you have you're basically playing 15 arc pendulum dragons now the reason why odd eyes is so good is because you get to play 35 spell cards and the synergy with the 35 spells and with the servant and the doctor and the mastery is ridiculous. You resolve mighty master every turn, jackalas counters every time, Cerberus gets a banish every time. The synergy is remarkable. When you throw in guard dragons in there and the ability to have the best way to turbo monsters in terms of arc pendulum dragon synergy with sky iris, it's just game. It's just game. You just win. Now, as you notice with this deck, it's ridiculously consistent. You're playing 35 spell cards. Blue Boy Cons the spell. And with that being said, it does kind of lose to Droll. So even though the power of this deck and the consistency of the deck is insane, it could lose to Droll. So I decided on my next Patreon video, which I am releasing this weekend on Sunday, I will be talking about how to destroy Droll because unfortunately every player is maining Droll now. It's unfortunate for us, but who cares? There are ways to beat it. It's still trash. So I do recommend if you play Pendulums, sign up for the Triff Gaming membership in the description below. Information there and you'll figure out how to absolutely obliterate Droll and Cockbird because the only one that's getting cocked is our opponent and our opponent's girlfriends. Now, on to the rest of the deck profile. We uh, play two Persona over one or three because it's a negate. So, now, when you put up multiple negates, you have another Jackal and another Mighty Master, a Persona Dragon, and the synergy with this and Seal and the bit boss card of the deck, Pendulum, Arc Arc Pendulum Dragon, is huge because every turn you're ending on Arc Arc Pendulum in the scale right so when seal brings out a persona dragon and the opponent kills the persona dragon you're bringing out another persona dragon so now a seal becomes a seal bounce a seal uh, bring out a persona dragon and another pers two persona dragon so that's three interruptions from one damn seal and it it's huge and your opponent's cards will never activate now mirage dragon you need know, a level three to make ensure you get the guard dragon combo yeah, three abductor servant. If you're not playing abductor servant in odd eyes, what the hell are you doing? It's like you're playing. It's like you're the Los Angeles Lakers, but LeBron's out for the year. Why would you purposely take LeBron out of your deck? Y'all like the pen god taking Electrum out and in a, uh, engage a hardcore format. But you know what? If you want to do that, and that's basically the equivalent. Taking an Abductor and Servant in an Odd Eyes deck and not playing them is the equivalent of not playing Electrum on purpose. So don't be an idiot like, like me. Next, two Mighty Master, two Servers, two Jackal. I would like to play three of each, but even a 60 card shenanigan um, Savage deck, there's still no space. Now, I do want to also note that this is the most beautiful artwork in the game. And if you want it in a playmat, we do have it up above, baby. It is pretty beautiful. Every single person's got it so far has agreed. Y'all gotta check out the map, baby. It's just to, to put the up, uh, bro. You look your opponent straight in the eye and say, I'm about to end me on your whole board for a six. And what better way to do it than on a trip gaming play map? Now, triple chrono, time gazer. They are good, great synergy with sky iris, great synergy with the deck as a whole. It likes to make Crowley better. I will discuss why I play the Spellbook Engine and the Sacred Sword cards, which are amazing. Like the synergy with it, because you search, you search Odd-Eyes Arc Pendulum by 15 ways. You search Dark Worm by five extra ways. Matt, like all the bottom 20 cards here are search level sevens. 
Gate Zero, Arc Pendulum, Mighty Master, whatever it may be, the whole deck is just level 7. So Sacred Sword is broken. I would love to play 3, to be honest. There's just no space. I would play 70 card deck if I can. Now, one for each negate. Now, two Dark Worm, one Gate Zero. Your normal summon is Blue Boy, not Dark Worm. So you don't want to play 3. Tempest is huge. I'll show you why in the combo tutorial at the end of the video. Distrudo, huge, huge. Double Blue Boy, double Secrets. Now, you're playing a 60 card deck. You can get away with the Blue Boy and his Secrets. Another option here is playing Magician Souls. Now, I opted not to play Magician Souls because I do realize a lot of Odd Eyes players are also a little bit budget. Hence, I have opted not to throw in Magician Souls in here, but I did keep in a Mascarena and an Appaloosa. If you can afford it, play it. But the deck does not need an Appaloosa, nor does it need a Mascarena. So for budget players out there, you could easily take them both out. It is no problem. Next, uh, and I'll show you why you gotta play the Blue Boy Engine. Because now the your new Electrum is either gonna be Crowley or Romulus. If you guys saw the last video I made, you use you use Romulus so well, it just it's broken, man. You want the option there to be able to go Crowley or Romulus, whatever you feel like. And if you have one spellcaster or one dragon, you go into the Mascarena. But if you're too, if you can't afford it, get a job. If you can't get a job, get a beat cop. Same thing. Triple desires, broken in 60 cards. I'll play five if I can. Don't matter what you banish. There's so many lines of plays. Triple Allure, another reason you want to play Odd Eyes. Search, well, the whole deck searches a dark card. Sacred Sword, the whole deck searches level 7. The synergy with Draw, Search, etc. and Odd Eyes is insane. Upstart, Into the Void. Normally you do any cards in hand, but it's fine. Just be wary of it. Triple Mastery, Foolish, Double Shrine, Double Ravine. You don't want Ravine to get banished by Desires. It's part of the combo with Tempest and Destrudo. Set Rotation, Terraform, Broken. 10 Odd Eyes cards, they all just search Arc Pendulum. The whole deck revolves around the protection of Arc Pendulum because your Persona Dragon and Vortex on field are now protected and when they destroy one of them, you just bring out another Persona. Amazing synergy. Next, Iris is the a heartbeat of the whole deck. When you have Iris, you have whatever you want. They could Ash the Cerberus, no problem. They could do whatever. You could Abduct her and then Resolve Servant afterwards. Iris is just busted. Uh, remarkable. Uh, basically, in this deck, if you open, by the way, if you open up Dr. Master, you're serving it's an FDK. It really is. And I will describe the power of Odd Eyes more in depth in another Odd Eyes video later in the future. Now, Triple Flame Strike, broken. It's just one of the ways to out floodgates. I will also be doing a how to out floodgate video on Patreon. And one of the low key ways is playing Odd Eyes because Spiral Flame Strike destroys it. So if you guys are interested in how to destroy Floodgates and how to destroy Droll and Lockford, check out the description and Patreon below. Droll and Lockford's coming this week and how to destroy Floodgates is coming in a later week. Summoner's Art and Duelist Alliance. Uh, honestly, it might be best to play Triple Summoner's Art, cut out Duelist Alliance, and play a third Sacred Sword. But you win anyways, who cares? Side deck, Triple Sphere, Triple Lava Golem, Triple Evenly. Against Monster decks, you throw in these nine. Trigate will negate you. You flame strike. There, they'll negate with Trigate, and then you evenly their whole board. Get Rex on. So nine cards. You're playing sixty. Oh my God, Trip! I'm not gonna see my side cards. Shut the hell up. That's all you have nine of them to side in for. Do some Trip math here. Sixty divided by nine equals is the same thing as forty divided by six. Hence, if you side in six cards for Pendulums, which is already too much, it's the same thing as deciding in nine. And Sphere Mode, Lava Golem, evenly hits every single combo deck. Now, if it doesn't, if these nine cards don't hit the combo deck, you got seven cards for back row. Triple evenly, triple Danko, and a red reboot. So now you have seven cards for back row decks that are all auto wins. If you can afford uh, Lightning Storm, play Lightning Storm over Danko, but you don't really need to. Now that's seven cards right there. Now, seven cards, draw one, you win, in a deck that has 20 draw cards? Sign me up, baby, that's free wins. Now, Secret Village, you got set rotation, terraforming, and two Secret Village. That is four Secret Villages. So going first, even though you're playing 60, it just beautiful. Play it. Next, you got one Crowley, one Romulus. As I explained in the beginning of the video, Rom Crowley is the Electrum for Spellcasters. Romulus is the Electrum for Dragons. You plus regardless. And if you open one of each Spellcaster and Dragon on field, you go Mascarena or Beacop. LP, Triple Burst, Seal, Appaloosa, Saryuja, Absolute, Vortex, Savage Dragon, part of the combo with Tempest. If you can't afford it, actually get a job. 
Hey, 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 this is why I hate right click, man. They just got what the absolute. Why am I absolute? Get out of my face. Savage Dragon should be there. And a drag surfer should be there. You there is an option here if you want to play other synchros, but dragster it, it, it is an option. Then Phoenix Unicorn Boral Sword. That's a deck profile. To be honest, it is broken as shit, and you can destroy all your shit opponents. And friendly reminder, subscribe if you guys got this far.